Peterson, conspicuous in the midfield. Here he is, Boutsianis. Kotska was the player there that put in the tackle. Some of the crowd thought it was worth consideration from the referee. Young boy, he's, uh, he's had a, a few games with the youth team and scored plenty of goals, but uh, it'll be a big test for the young boy today, see if he can uh, put it all together. Postacoglu. Peterson for Angie Postacoglu. Beautiful touch, Boutsianis, the youngster, and it's in! In his first NSL senior match, Con Boutsianis scores a goal after six minutes. The first goal for South Melbourne Hollis. Well, what a fairy tale start. Brian Garvey said the youngsters had got in because they earned the place. He thought they could do the job. Well, those youth team goals were certainly no fluke. He's done it in senior company. Yes, he's a prolific goal scorer and he certainly took his time there, picked his spot beautifully. Well, fairy tale stuff. Gibson tried hard. Ford itself, Melbourne, a corner. It was from the corner they got onto level turns. Bucianis is the player who's come on. He gets a touch. And Kim Taliadoris is the player at the far post. 1-1 with a quarter of an hour to go. By this time, Peter Salakis was making his presence felt. Here's Taliadoros. And Con Bunzianis, the player who came on on Wednesday night, scored the all-important goal in the cup win, is the player who secures South Melbourne two points. It's put across there by Steve Tassios, and the header from Bunzianis, only 18 years old, beats the keeper, and South Melbourne are ahead. Kim Taliadoros would have been very grateful for a pinpoint cross from 18-year-old Con Bunzianis. Still Andrew Bernal, shot low charge down. Bucianis, still Con Bucianis and he's away from the defender and it's a four on three situation. Salakis available on the far side, here comes Salakis and just over the top from Peter Salakis. Well he can't believe it, but it was a beautiful ball across from the youngster Con Bucianis. It eluded the defenders. Peter Salakis took it in his stride, tried to place it, just put it wide. Into the closing stages of the match, it was all South Melbourne, a bit fortunate here. Convolutsianis in for Peter Salakis is the player who gets the ball across. Goalkeeper fumbles, Danny Wright blasts that into the back of the net from six yards. 3-1 now to South Melbourne. Akadokopoulos, Salakis, Postacoglu, no, it's Putsianis. He's inside the area, a chance for Kombutsianis. The cross was intended for Trimboli. A chance again for Trimboli, and it's come off Trimboli's boot. An attempted Melbourne Croatian clearance. The player was Ivan Giselle, and unawares Paul Trimboli has scored South Melbourne Hellas' first goal. Always a dangerous situation for the defending side. As the attempt, attempted clearance off Ivan Giselle came off number nine for South Melbourne Hillis, Paul Trimboli. So South Melbourne Hillis lead 1 0 after 19 minutes. Chance here for Michaela Coppolis. Trimboli. Now Salakis breaks. Also, Bruxianis inside the area. Kombutsianis! And he scores South Melbourne Hill a second. That was a fine build-up, and don't the fans love it here at Summer Street? A fantastic build-up by Hellas. As we see Salakis. And Bruxianis found the angle, and his shot from the left side was strong. He beat the keeper, David Miller. And South Melbourne Hellas lead 2 0. He lays it off to Durakovic. Bucianis close to half time. Pressure players. Desperation. Fouls are not quite sure what to do. And that could have easily been a goal to Con Bucianis right on half time. Fouls are not quite knowing what to do there. Heading back towards his own goals. And Alex McPherson injured in this crash. It's great courage. He goes to ground. Bucianis charging in. Sorrow's there also. 
Now the mix-up foul. Back comes Trimbali. Good courage from Trimbali. Advantage played by the referee. Wade. Healy again. Coached by the big crowd. The home supporters. Healy. Nasty ball. Almost a goal. It's loose. Buxianis. A beautiful cross from David Healy. Gave Buxianis the opportunity. We'll check this cross from Healy. And Buzianis coming in from the side, almost getting in the way was the uh, defender for uh, his fouls on combining with McPherson. So Melbourne defence, Buzianis back, Wade. The long ball looking for Trimboli. Buzianis running past. He is running past. Into the penalty area for Buzianis. Low ball, McPherson, brilliant. That was a very tricky one. He went for the low ball all along the ground to try and deceive the keeper. McPherson read it beautifully. Abutzianis, you'll notice the way he keeps it very low. It can be tricky because Michaela Coppolis was uh, lurking there for the crumbs. 75 for the season, and Steve Tassios delighted the home fans. South Melbourne have three members in the Australian squad. It was Peter Salakis and Kim Taliadoris that caught the eye. South Melbourne recovering after a 4-1 loss at the hands of Adelaide City last week. We're expecting a hard game against the struggling Wollongong Macedonia. And with Paul Trimboli off with groin trouble, substitute Con Buzianis looks certain to score. Buzianis' cross was cleared only as far as Michaela Coppolis, who wasn't about to give Franken a chance. But after weeks of being the centre of transfer talks, Palatsides was welcoming the opportunity to do his thing up front. It was his shot come centre which created the goal. Peter Salakis was the middleman as Con Buzianis rammed it home on the turn. The 19-year-old's third of the season had lifted a huge weight off South Melbourne's collective shoulder. Healy though. Now here's the much bandaged Wade. Playing it off to Conbutzianis. Good ball for Trimboli. Conbutzianis scored three goals this season. Back into the attack today. Butzianis. Unmarked is Danny Wright. Good vision there from Butzianis to spot Wright. Is Trimboli against Yankos. Back for Danny Wright. He and Trimboli working well together. Trimboli spreads it for Butzianis. Durakovic calling for it, far post. Mehmet Durakovic couldn't believe that it cleared all those Wollongong players. Frank Harrock still banned from the touchline. Watches as South Melbourne stage a fight back on a ground where they've won on their last two visits. In the 59th minute, they pull one back with a clever shot with the outside of the boot from 19-year-old Con Butzianis. Butzianis now in the clear. Gets it passed over. Con Butzianis, the substitute, came in very early for Posta Coglu. So after 81 minutes, 4-0. And the offside flag stays down. Once again, Heidelberg exposed. Butzianis near post, 5-0. And that's a record score in a derby. At Hindmarsh Stadium, Kim Taliadoris led a 7-1 demolition for South Melbourne over West Adelaide. In the match, he netted four goals to become the league's top goal scorer. He walked through some feeble defence here, his second goal in only a few minutes. Taliadora scored four goals in the game, his first in the 13th minute, stretching right through to almost the end. Leading 2-0 in the 33rd minute, Michaeli Coppolis scored goal three. And Talia Doris ending a dreadful nightmare. A 7 1 win to South Melbourne, West Adelaide pounded. Healy it is. With space. Back inside for Triboli. Triboli chipping it in. Uh, Vading Talagoras, but it's in. Have a guess who? Claude Putzianis. He scored twice in the corresponding match of the first round. And he stuck it away. 23 minutes in. Bambuzianis, a lovely goal, John. 
with all the signs of South Melbourne coming back into it, Andy, uh, gradually coming back into the game. This is a good move by them. Healy starts it on the right. It's an excellent cross. It's then uh, the work of Trimboli beats his opponent in the area and then the nice cross and puts the armist on the spot to put it away. Hooks it in, well struck, and an excellent goal from South Melbourne. There's certainly a great goal for Kombucianis. He's eighth in the National League, his 35th appearance, and he stuck it away well. And what good work from Trimboli in that lead. Because Wade has come up into the penalty area. Teodorus is at the near post. Looking for Teodorus to nod on for Wade, but it goes to Wade. Wade gets the shot on his block. Now Teodorus! Butzianis can finish! No, he can't! Headed away by Milosevic! And the shot by Peterson just wide! The chances have gone begging for South Melbourne. Three in fact. First it was Wade, then Butzianis, and then Peterson. Melbourne Croatia caught out initially here because Milosevic was left to mark Wade from the long throw and anything as we can see here could have happened. Excellent save from Miller. Desperation uh, stakes for Melbourne Croatia and South Melbourne perhaps a little unlucky not to get something out of that Andy. But I do believe they made the mistake by not uh, picking Wade up from that long throw. An amazing sequence here. Butzianis a brilliant save by Miller. He blocked it well. Defenders have just been alternating. Be it Hannah, Solomides or Vanish. Here comes the throw from Butzianis. Vanish was up. The touch on. The shot by Trimboli. Miller was down. Good play. Peterson just touched it on for Trimboli. And the easy one for Hasler. Butzianis goes inside of Biskic. Hasler again. Cross inside, Peterson's head off the bar! Trimboli should score! It's great enough, Teodorus though! South Melbourne lead, one goal to nil. 57 minutes in. Kibun Teodorus has scored yet again. His 15th goal of the season. And in front of the national coach, Eddie Thompson too. He couldn't have tied it more better, John. Well, to be top scorer, you got to have a touch of luck, and I think Kim's got it here. Look, what a great header from Peterson off the bar. Trimboli's perhaps going in, but there's Taliadoros on the spot at the right time just to nudge it home. And that will spark this whole game up now, Andy. It's uh, desperately needed a goal to get things moving. But uh, they might be leading by a goal, but they can't take it easily, which they no doubt will not take it easily. Can Butzianis lay it off at Talakis? He's got a free shot. What a save by Miller. And Miller in there again as Talakis came in. David Miller, a brilliant save. And they're in all sorts of bother at the back, Melbourne Croatia. They've got to lift them now for Butzianis. Butzianis, it's three on three at the moment. Teodorus is at the back post. Can he get it across right again? It's off the bar. And hooked away by Hanna. They should be leading 3 0. And Taylor Doris almost getting his double. This was an excellent cross from Butzianis. And Talia Doris, that is just bad luck to uh, hit the bar. Butzianis nods on for Taylor Doris. And Butzianis has followed through. A similar situation to that earlier incident. Can Butzianis get in for Taylor Doris again? because he came at the ball. Good keeping by Miller to really put Teodorus off and South Melbourne could be leading by four, John. Yes, well, it's another excellent counter-attack involving Butzianis and Teodorus, but excellent keeping again from Miller. For Melbourne, Croatia, there's no finer player today than Miller. He's attacking the ball, just puts Teodorus off enough to miss it. Butzianis again with a corner kick. Was Peterson on the line? Was Branko Milosevic? He kept his cool, controlled, and relaxed. Butzianis looking for Trimboli. Good touch back inside. Butzianis, a good run. And Salamidis has given it to Teodoros. It's saved by Miller and hooked away by Vlado Vanish. And that could have cost him the game. Thankfully for Melbourne Croatia, Vlado Vanish was there. Butzianis, I felt, 
maybe went on too long there. And just here, it fell for Taya Doris. Miller parried. And it was hooked away by Vlad Vanish. The crucial move saw Trimboli return to his natural position up front after an hour in the midfield wasteland. Mehmet Durakovic did the legwork and Trimboli's touch opened the gate for Con Butzianis. And I wonder whether Con Butzianis will try it from here. He does, not a bad try at all from Butzianis. Worth the effort from that range, John. It's a great strike, Andy. This would do his uh, mentor push just proud. Not far away at all. Three minutes after the break, Awaratifi made another splash, setting up his partner, Butzianis, for number two. For him, injuries and the like, operations, and it really is a traumatic time for players as Butzianis gets the free kick in. Awaratifi's up! Smashing it against the crossbar. And there you have the reason why South Melbourne bought well this year in Francis Awaratifi. And this was a lovely move. The Butzianis free kick. Awaratifi getting up and against the bar. And this is the view for uh, Tony Pisano. And how close could he come be? Peter Gustsalakis taking the corner instead of Kombutsianis. They're looking for the in swinger, a deep one. Blair's up there, they've got Musket up there as well. It's gone towards Pisano. There's the header and a reflex save. Brilliant stuff from Pisano, but Blair and a world team with a Diego Maradona finish. He's already got a yellow. This could be a red. This could be a red card for Francis Awaratifi. The intentional handball. This could come. Well, there was a yellow, the yellow, the second offence, and a white TP has been given his marching orders. Well, Andy, he can't complain. It's the second yellow. You are off. I do sympathise with him. I felt the first one was, was a little bit unfair, but uh, that's the way it goes. Decisions go for you some day and against you the next. And having committed this uh, offence, which it does appear like a, a handball, that is an automatic yellow, and being his second, he's off. But really, Marconi so exposed again in the air. Look at this, they've two free headers. Uh, that is a handball, second yellow and off. But what a save from Pisano to deny Convutzianis. Watch Pisano here, and he just got in there. Or... But Marconi in trouble in the air, aren't they, Andy, at the back? Look at this, another free header and uh, almost another free header for Francis. And it comes. And now Hasler, the chance for the equaliser! Gary Hasler will celebrate with the touring fans from South Melbourne. But what a comeback from South Melbourne. The soccer room, Gary Hasler, levels turns. 19 minutes into his second half. Well, what a sensational passage of play. It's been, John. Well, uh, Mark Coney were always going to be exposed in the air in this game, Andy. This corner kick, you will see there all over the place. They leave Hasler free at the far post. And Hasler, I believe, being booked here, Andy. For either comments or for what happened up. But here's the corner kick. You'll see Marconi. It's gone through the lot of them. Just to touch on. They're nowhere. Hasler free at the far post. And really rifles it in well. And there's just no chance for Pizzano or Jalewski on the line. Jalewski, of course, in the first half, clearing a header from right. But Gary Hasler really picked his spot here and let loose with a thunderbolt. 1-1 one, one South Melbourne. Brian Eddies had already earned his week's wages, but made an even better save from a Puziana's bullet. South Melbourne renewed its assault. Tassios set up Putzianis, who dribbled the ball past Trianides. It may have got no further, but a rush of blood by Roothouse produced a fresh air swipe, and the ball gently rolled in. Paul Trimboldi played a key role against the breakers, but after just 14 minutes, the soccer striker was brought down in the penalty box. Oh, 
Christianus made easy work of the spot kick and South Melbourne led 2-0. The pressure right on. Butzianis will take the corner kick. Wade has made the run to the near post. In it comes. The knot on the goal. There it is. Trimboli, the scorer. 17 minutes in. And Paul Trimboli, perhaps the most unselfish player in the Coca-Cola Soccer League. He scores his 51st goal from the set piece. Well, a goal of class, Andy. Trimboli using... Uh the angle so well just to glance it in but he meant skill in at the curving corner and uh, Bobby McLaughlin of uh, Moore will be angry with his defence there because Trimboli left able to get a free go out of one of the smallest players on the field but uh, an excellent goal from Paul in Tr Trimboli one of real class from Peterson now Trimboli they've got support on the left has that He's got Butzianis on the left if he wants him. There's the ball for Butzianis. Awara Tifi's inside. He's going to chip Motone off the bar. And I think it took a touch and cleared away in the end by Della Rocca. Intelligent play. G South Melbourne are playing some good football here, John. Well, an excellent move from South Melbourne, finishing with this uh, very clever bit from uh, Butzianis. Tony gets a, gets a hand up. Wade with a forceful header for Butzianis. Now the support's coming through. Butzianis, great run. This is some run from Butzianis. And the shot was just blocked by Harris Mortone. And it spins away. And now the chance in front. And missed by the Socceroo, Mike Peterson. And John, that should have been three. Well, it should have been Andy started with Paul Wade winning the ball. Excellent pass. Butzianis dribbling to the shot. And look at the spin on this. Good play from Oratiti. Backs in and keeps the defender away. And I would think that the spin had a lot to do with that, Andy. That just spinning a little bit too much for Mickey P to get over yes, and control I, it enough. I must apologise to uh, Mike Peterson there because uh, you'll see here, this is probably it's a, a wicked angle, spin on it? it. Look. And he was under pressure too. And you've got to commend uh, Morwell's defence. Now with muskets. Waratifi. De La Roca. Right on him. Waratifi gets away from the sweeper. Harris and a lovely ball inside. But Giannis is free. That's Anna. And a save of excellence from Steve Mortone. And Cotton Butzianis could have got onto the scorer's sheet, but there was a man there to thwart him. Well, another first-class move. South Melbourne now starting to get their rhythm. It's a Waratifi involved again. It's a, it's a tremendous cross, nice and deep. And a splendid hit of Butzianis over it. Gets it down, but what a great save from Matone. But South Melbourne replied six minutes later. A Waratifi shrugged off a knee injury to leap above the pack, but later limped out of the game. With only seven minutes left, South Melbourne finally hit the front. Trimboli and Salakis combined to release Butzianis. Hey. It took just nine minutes before veteran defender Steve Blair climbed to put South Melbourne ahead. And Blair did it again in the 26th minute. Either way, Trimboli. Nice little overhead. Salakis came through. Now Blair! And it's going to go in. It is! Wow! Stephen Blair! He'll be credited with the goal. Again, it'll be the corner. But this time, it'll be Butzianis. He'll swing it away from McPherson's goal. There it is. Up has come. Oh! Well, Peterson came up. And the header went straight to Alex McPherson already today. Peterson has beaten McPherson with the woodwork, the crossbar had saved him. But uh, McPherson will tell us after the game it was fine positioning. Giannis looking for Trimboli. When it really looked like South Melbourne had the game well in control, they find themselves at the end of it. Here we go, he does appear to slip a little bit. The 
bottom line is it is an OG and uh, that most certainly is the ball game now. Well, we've seen it all now, haven't we, John? Amazing. A revival, a short-lived one, it seems. Trimboli's at the near post. Wade's ready for the run. In it comes. More towards Awara. Tifi. Trimboli, can he turn it? He lays it off. Wade, it's stuck. Place Blair has put them back ahead at 2-1. Gary Hasler, be a relief man after that goal. That's a beautiful ball for Butsianis. Some ball, Butsianis! Oh, that was some shot indeed from young Con Butsianis. There's a lovely ball by Hasler, Butsianis and Franken. And has he slotted it in just wide? Well, it was a bit of a mistimed shot, which really would have confused Franken. So is Butiana there at the moment for South Melbourne. The deep ball, Trimboli's header, and there's the goal. Paul Trimboli does it yet again. His fifth goal of the season. And we just wonder when the fireworks will start. Will it be now? Trimboli looks up. Butiana, he'll go for goal. Blocked by Schwarzer and cleared away by Gary Van Egmond. And the Socceroo, I would put my money on the Socceroo perhaps being the man for this one. In he comes, curls it around, and there's the goal, no! Butzianis just wide, pure reflexes there. But the chance again goes begging for South Melbourne, and you wonder if it's a matter of time for them, or perhaps Marconi. But then again, another goal and chance, but you've got to commend Butzianis, it was pure reflex. And well done, Con Butzianis. It's four on two. Butzianis has got support on the left. It's with Tassios. Will it be the goal? No, it won't. How many times have we seen it in the first half? South Melbourne will rue the mischances. Marconi are the sort of team that will punish them. On level terms. Butzianis, if he can get it to him, there's the... Oh, sensational save by Schwarzer. South Melbourne will be coming frustrated, and not even the magical skills of Awara Tifi could do the trick. Ball inside, Butzianis, a water that was, oh, that was, that was worth a goal, really, John. A classic counter-attack in the 39th minute was decisive. Trimboli, Tassios, and then Butzianis showed great finesse, allowing a water to score. With just eight minutes left, South Melbourne's persistence paid off. Healy's deep cross was met forcefully by Butzianis. In the passionate celebration of a crucial goal, Butzianis drifted across the white line. Of course, he was then cautioned under the draconian rule that infuriates players and fans alike. Effectively, the contest was over. Butzianis made sure by finding Tassios, who drilled home a second much to the delight of the travelling fans. After Hasler's thunderbolt, Butzianis unleashed a wicked free kick. Once again, Gibson did enough. Catholos lost out to Trimboli and the sliding it through for Butzianis. Inside is Tassios, Stephen Tassios. Uh, really, it was hard to miss them score there, I would think. Tassios. The disappointment showing on his face there, but they want to forget about this and continue on as they have done throughout the game. South Melbourne, in the last few moments, should really be leading here by three goals to nil. Easy one for Hasler. Butzianis, he should go for goal all the way himself here. Butzianis lines it up. 